there are things that we know we don't know. And one of these things is dark matter. Dark matter is probably passing through you and me right now. Quantum detector discovers mysterious pattern in Saturn's rings. A groundbreaking quantum processor called Majorana 1 has detected an unexplained pattern in data from the James Webb Space Telescope's observations of Saturn's rings. The processor, designed to search for quantum correlations in astronomical data, identified a signal that defies current scientific understanding, the revolutionary quantum chip. Majorana 1, named after the renowned Italian physicist, uses advanced quantum technology with protected qubits that resist decoherence. Developed through international collaboration between ETH Zurich and Fermilab, this processor operates at extremely low temperatures and can detect quantum coherence across vast distances. Its ability to process terabytes of data with femtoscond precision makes it uniquely capable of finding patterns invisible to conventional instruments. The chip's specialized firmware integrates real-time pattern recognition algorithms trained on simulated black hole echo signals, allowing it to filter out thermal noise, cosmic ray strikes, and known instrumental artifacts. When analyzing Webb's data streams, Majorana 1 achieved confidence levels exceeding 7 sigma for non-Gaussian features, far beyond typical astrophysical anomalies. Initially, researchers thought the chip must have been misconfigured when they saw the initial readout, but further verification confirmed the signal was genuine. The Majorana 1 quantum processor represents a revolutionary leap forward in detection technology, operating within a dilution refrigerator cooled below 10 millikelvin where quantum effects dominate. Its lattice of superconducting nanowires creates a unique environment where entangled photon streams from web scans can be analyzed for minute phase correlations with unprecedented accuracy. The chip's quantum architecture allows it to recognize patterns that would appear as mere noise to classical computers, effectively seeing quantum signatures that conventional detectors miss entirely. This capability stems from its use of topologically protected qubits quantum bits encoded in pairs of Majoranas or modes that maintain coherence far longer than traditional quantum computing elements. The design grew out of theoretical work on exotic fermions and topological quantum materials, fields that have progressed from purely mathematical concepts to practical implementations over the past decade. Scientists have equipped Majorana 1 with adaptive algorithms that continuously refine its detection parameters based on incoming data, enabling it to differentiate between instrumental artifacts and genuine signals with extraordinary precision. The unexpected discovery. What began as a routine atmospheric survey of Saturn revealed something extraordinary. The James Webb Space Telescope's 2024 campaign was intended to map temperature gradients in Saturn's stratosphere and capture high-resolution images of ring textures. Standard instruments showed normal methane bands, ammonia features, and trace hydrocarbons, with surface temperatures matching predictions within 2 Kelvin. While standard instruments showed nothing unusual, Majorana 1 detected coherent subharmonic oscillations repeating every 28.5 minutes across multiple ring segments, simultaneously spanning distances over 100,000 kilometers. This violates locality constraints as two separate ring regions appear entangled in a single repeating waveform. Most disturbing is the apparent temporal asymmetry, suggesting that future ring states somehow influence earlier measurements. When processed through a post-selection filter, data shows intensity at later timestamps influencing earlier one's a hallmark of quantum retrocausality or post-selected weak measurements. No known planetary process, electrostatic charging, magnetospheric interactions, or ring shepherd moon resonances can generate such effects. The discovery path itself is fascinating scientists initially programmed Majorana 1 to analyze gravitational wave data, not planetary atmospheres. The team repurposed the chip to process Webb's archive almost as an afterthought, curious to see if quantum coherence might appear in unexpected places. Within minutes of beginning its analysis, Majorana 1's anomaly queue lit up with alerts flagging non-Gaussian anomalous pattern iterative non-local coherent signatures embedded in Saturn's ring data. The pattern appears strongest in spectral ranges corresponding to water-ice crystalline structures, suggesting that the particles themselves might play a crucial role in sustaining these quantum correlations. 
Further investigation revealed that the pattern strength varies with Saturn's magnetospheric conditions, strengthening during certain configurations of the planet's complex magnetic field. This periodic reinforcement follows a pattern that doesn't align with any known orbital resonances or gravitational interactions within the Saturnian system. When researchers extracted the phase relationships between different ring segments, they found that disturbances propagate across the rings in ways that appear to defy conventional causal relationships effects, sometimes preceding causes when viewed from certain reference frames. Most remarkable is the consistent 28.5-minute periodicity that maintains synchronization across enormous distances, suggesting a coordinating mechanism that operates across the entire ring system simultaneously, theories explaining the anomaly. Scientists have proposed several explanations for this phenomenon. One theory suggests Saturn's rings may function as a quantum resonator, with the interplay of charged ice grains in magnetospheric plasma, creating standing quantum field modes. These modes could cause coherent subharmonic oscillations in the gas-like gaps between particles, essentially turning the rings into a giant quantum resonator that feeds vacuum energy back into the infrared spectrum. Another hypothesis proposes that the rings might contain Majorana Fermion condensate's exotic quasiparticles emerging in topological phases of matter. If pockets of exotic ice mixtures at cryogenic temperatures support these modes, they might produce echoes detectable by Majorana 1, manifesting as non-local time reversed signals. The most radical theory suggests Saturn's rings serve as a quantum subspace transducer converting higher dimensional vacuum fluctuations into observable pulses. According to certain string theory models, brain intersections could occur in regions of extreme mass density like Saturn's rings, creating portals through which quantum information leaks, resulting in patterns that entangle distant ring sectors and blur temporal order. The quantum resonator hypothesis has gained traction among plasma physicists who note that Saturn's ring particles exist in a unique electromagnetic environment. The constantly shifting balance between solar radiation pressure, planetary magnetic fields, and the electrostatic charging of ice grains creates conditions where quantum vacuum fluctuations might be amplified rather than cancelling out. Computer simulations suggest that under specific conditions, these amplified vacuum fluctuations could establish macroscopic quantum coherence across large sections of the rings. Proponents of the Majorana Fermion theory point to recent laboratory experiments where similar quasiparticles have been observed in exotic superconductors subjected to intense magnetic fields. They argue that the extreme cold of Saturn's rings combined with radiation-damaged ice structures could create topological defects capable of hosting these exotic fermions. If true, this would represent the first detection of Majorana particles in a natural setting rather than a carefully controlled laboratory environment. The quantum subspace transducer concept draws on more speculative physics, particularly certain interpretations of M-theory, where our four-dimensional spacetime is embedded within a higher dimensional bulk. Proponents suggest that Saturn's precise mass distribution, rapidly rotating magnetosphere, and ring system geometry might create conditions where quantum information from higher dimensions leaks into observable spacetime. Each theory carries profound implications for our understanding of quantum mechanics, gravity, and possibly even the fundamental structure of reality itself. Historical evidence. Intriguingly, this pattern isn't entirely new. Re-examination of data from Voyager 1's 1980 magnetometer recordings showed unexplained oscillations near the F-ring that were dismissed at the time as spacecraft interference. Similarly, Cassini's Tatine 6 microwave radiometer logs noted faint backscatter anomalies in the B-ring that were never published in peer-reviewed journals. Only now, with Majorana 1's retrospective filtering, do these older data sets reveal the same 28.5-minute subharmonic signature indicating the phenomenon is persistent rather than a transient glitch. This suggests the effect has been building for decades, possibly intensifying as Saturn moves through different regions of the heliosphere. Scientists are now questioning whether the solar cycle might modulate a planetary-scale quantum resonator, or if some unknown process is amplifying over time, potentially priming Saturn's rings for a phase transition. The linking of past and present data transforms this anomaly from an isolated curiosity into a long-running mystery. 
The historical persistence of this signal raises troubling questions about scientific blind spots and the limitations of our detection technologies. When Voyager's instruments recorded unusual oscillations, engineers attributed them to instrument noise or communication glitches, rather than genuine astronomical phenomena. The original Voyager mission scientists had no theoretical framework to accommodate quantum coherence on planetary scales, so anomalous readings were filtered out as errors rather than investigated as potential discoveries. This pattern repeated with Cassini, whose more advanced instruments captured even clearer evidence of the 28.5-minute oscillation. Several graduate students noted the anomaly in their analysis, but senior researchers discouraged publication without a conventional explanation. What's particularly striking is how the signal intensity appears to have increased over time Voyager's instruments barely detected it above background noise, while Cassini's recordings show clearer evidence and Webb's data reveals the pattern with unmistakable clarity. This progressive strengthening correlates with Saturn's orbital position and the solar cycle, suggesting a possible connection to changing heliospheric conditions. Some researchers have proposed that as Saturn moves through regions of space with different quantum vacuum energy densities, the ring system's resonance properties shift, amplifying certain frequencies while damping others. If true, this would provide the first observational evidence that vacuum energy fluctuations vary throughout the solar system, a finding with profound implications for physics and cosmology. Implications and Controversy the physics community remains deeply divided over the interpretation of these findings. One camp insists the pattern represents genuine quantum retrocausality, a literal feedback from future ring states. They invoke the two-state vector formalism and weak measurement experiments where future measurement choices influence past photon statistics. If Saturn's rings can host analogous processes on a macro scale, it fundamentally challenges our understanding of causality. Skeptics argue for a more conservative explanation, an exotic vacuum artifact where the interplay of charged ice grains and magnetospheric plasma creates non-equilibrium vacuum states that produce pre- and post-impulses in the infrared spectrum. This model preserves temporal order but requires a new class of plasma vacuum interactions. A third perspective draws on superdeterminism, suggesting all events including our observations are preordained by hidden variables. Major scientific institutions including CERN and NASA have convened a joint task force with experts from Caltech, the Perimeter Institute and the University of Vienna to design blind input experiments that can rigorously test these competing hypotheses. The debate has grown increasingly heated in academic circles with prominent physicists staking their reputations on competing interpretations. Those advocating for quantum retrocausality point to mounting evidence from laboratory experiments demonstrating that under certain conditions, future measurement choices can influence the behavior of particles in the past, not by changing history, but by selecting which potential histories manifest in our observations. Applied to Saturn's rings, this would suggest that the enormous system operates as a naturally occurring quantum post-selection apparatus, where the final state of the system influences earlier configurations through subtle quantum correlations. Opponents argue that such effects should be confined to microscopic systems and cannot scale to astronomical dimensions without violating energy conservation principles. The vacuum artifact proponents offer a model where charged ice particles in Saturn's rings create microscopic Casimir cavities that interact with the quantum vacuum in ways that produce interference patterns resembling retrocausal signals. This explanation preserves traditional causality, but requires new physics to explain how these vacuum effects propagate and synchronize across vast distances. The superdeterministic perspective rejects both explanations as missing the fundamental point that our universe may not operate according to local realism at all, and that apparent violations of causality might simply reflect our limited understanding of deeper deterministic processes. The Joint Task Force has proposed a series of critical experiments, including modulated laser pulses directed at specific ring segments to test whether they respond in ways that suggest pre-knowledge of the incoming signal pattern. Early results have proven ambiguous, with some tests suggesting conventional explanations, while others reinforce the anomaly's mysterious nature. Saturn as a quantum archive. 
Perhaps most provocatively, some theorists suggest Saturn's rings might function as a vast quantum memory system, a natural structure capable of recording and possibly transmitting information across space and time. This hypothesis proposes that Saturn's rings host coherent quantum vacuum modes, structured by the planet's massive magnetic field and constant bombardment by solar particles. If such coherence exists, the rings may behave like a quantum memory substrate, similar to a hard drive but governed by phase relationships rather than binary bits. Every impact from solar wind, micrometeoroid, or magnetospheric turbulence could create unique disturbances in the quantum field, potentially encoding information in phase, spin, or higher dimensional entanglement patterns. Some researchers speculate that an advanced civilization might have exploited this phenomenon encoding vast amounts of information into the rings using subtle variations in density, charge distribution, or vacuum fluctuation patterns. While speculative, this concept parallels current experiments in quantum computing labs on Earth, where scientists use Majorana fermions as candidates for topological quantum memory. If the ring system operates on feedback loops that stretch across time, it suggests the archive isn't just a passive recorder, but a temporally active system capable of storing and retrieving information from both past interactions and future conditions. This raises the intriguing possibility of communication not just across space, but perhaps across layers of time encoded in the ring structure. The quantum archive hypothesis represents the most profound and controversial interpretation of the Saturn anomaly. Proponents argue that the specific characteristics of the 28.5-minute signal its coherent nature across vast distances, its persistence through time, and its apparent temporal symmetry match what we would expect from an engineered quantum memory system rather than a natural phenomenon. They point to mathematical analyzes showing that the signal contains embedded complexity that exceeds what random processes typically generate, suggesting possible information encoding. The hypothesis extends beyond mere speculation, thanks to recent breakthroughs in quantum memory research on Earth. Current experimental quantum computers use similar principles to encode information in the phase relationships between entangled particles, protected from decoherence by topological structures. Saturn's rings, with their perfect circular symmetry, precise spacing, and unique electromagnetic environment, could theoretically support similar quantum coherence on a vastly larger scale. The most radical extension of this hypothesis suggests the possibility of intentional design that an advanced civilization might have recognized or created these properties as a means of long-term information storage. Critics counter that attributing the anomaly to artificial origins prematurely invokes external intelligence when natural explanations might still emerge. They point out that complex, organized systems frequently arise in nature through self-organizing processes without requiring conscious design. However, both skeptics and proponents agree that if the rings do function as a quantum archive, whether natural or engineered, they could contain encoded information about the history of the solar system spanning billions of years, from the formation of the planets to the present day. This would make Saturn's rings not just a beautiful astronomical feature, but potentially the most valuable scientific resource in our solar system. The discovery forces us to reconsider fundamental assumptions about causality, quantum effects at planetary scales, and perhaps even our place in the universe. As scientists design follow-up observations with Webb's high-resolution spectrograph, ground-based quantum-grade telescopes, and possible future probes to the Cassini division, we stand at the threshold of potentially revolutionary insights into the nature of reality itself. The ongoing investigations could reshape our understanding of quantum mechanics, challenge our notions of time and causality, and possibly reveal new methods of information storage and transmission that operate according to principles we've only begun to comprehend. Whatever the ultimate explanation proves to be, Majorana 1's detection of these quantum patterns in Saturn's rings marks the beginning of a new era in our exploration of quantum phenomena beyond Earth and laboratory settings, extending into the vast reaches of our solar system and perhaps beyond.